So Oh, wait a second. You, you should not have said that. that. <laughs> you no. should not Man, have said sure that. Wait a minute. Got paid before that. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. So he never got paid after that. <laughs> Big Yo. Ben never got any money after that. Yeah. No. Oh God. motherfucker, I'm cooking your ass no. now. Oh hell no, you should have said that dumb shit. So <laughs> yeah. wait a minute, let's rewind five seconds ago. What did he just say? Oh. What did he just say? Oh, we're short. Look, we're right. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Ooh, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode. It's seventy three now, actually. Yeah, seventy three. I said it was seventy three last week. Yeah, fuck it's not. Up. Welcome back. I have something to say. He Go got off. something to say. Go so, off. in recent news on TikTok, had a video blow up. Right? It's about to hit the moon. I'm the masturbator. What? So listen. Oh, whoa. The ma- <laughs> whoa. I like it, the masturbator. I clickbait. So if you see the title of the video, I think it said something like Cam Newton is not good enough to host like a QB camp or something like that. So with that, it's not what I said in the video, obviously. Right. I got you, bitch, for whoever believed that title is what I meant. Right. That's the point of clickbait. Um, what I meant and kind of what Jordan said in the, in the group chat, what I should have said is mechanically instead of a QB teaching me how to fucking play the game. Um, what I was meaning in my head as in a QB camp in which I should have explained was not the traditional seven on seven passing camp. Mm -hmm. I was thinking one-on-one, if you have a list of all these quarterbacks in the NFL in previous years as well. Cam Newton's going to be at the bottom of your list. So is Lamar. So is Daniel Jones. So is Jalen Hurts. Dual threat QBs are going to be at the bottom of your list. Throw Josh Allen on there too then. He's dual threat. Yeah, a turnover machine. Okay. I was about to say, because I don't like to but, you just keep naming black quarterbacks, bro. I said Daniel Jones, but everyone's like, oh, he ain't an MVP. No, he's not. He's not as good as them. Okay. <laughs> but he's a dual threat QB. That's why I put him in there. But Josh Allen's better than all those other quarterbacks so far. Derek. I, Anyways, I hate to interrupt your epic rant. We have to fix your camera real quick. Real you need quick. to turn it a little bit. Just a little bit. Towards Dante. Should I do it? We can restart it. I so don't remember what you, else. So you were saying not in the 707 <clears throat> style, like one-on-one mechanics, who you're choosing. Yeah, so like one-on-one camp is really kind of what I was going at. Like, let's say you go to a camp and they're teaching you QB mechanics. Cam Newton's going to be at the bottom of your list. And... I mean, I should have kind of cleared that up in the beginning instead of what I said. But for a lot Tell of people, me what I said, what what you said? No, no. oh, joke, <laughs> joke ran over my head. Sorry. Anyways, when it comes to a lot of people talking shit in the comments, might come off as a racist. Whatever floats your boat. Sure, that's quite the take. Yeah, from a lot quite. of people, quite. I'd like to dispel the rumor uh, as. The token African American on the show that um, Derek is indeed racist. Oh, there was supposed to be a not in there. Indeed, not racist. Sorry, Derek is not a racist. He's a good friend. He's just mine. uneducated. No, yeah. uh, listen. At the end of the day, when you say anything about a group of people and there's starting to be a trend there, you know, it's gonna look racist. <laughs> it's just gonna, yes, the especially when the black guy says, oh, I see a trend here. Who said that? You. <laughs> oh, well, I did. I know. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> on camera, I know. Listen, I call it like I see it. I know. It was funny. Okay. Put my glasses on. Go ahead and sing that shit. I think, <laughs> listen, I think the black quarterback is the most disrespected position in football. Not quarterback. Specifically the black quarterback. Because as soon as you get into the draft, ah, but his arm. <laughs> He's got great legs, but two, it's two black quarterbacks went back to back last year. Yeah, absolutely. Last year, sure. But That's the, the white most quarterback. recent draft. Yeah, but and there's a black one going to go first what this if year. He absolutely. To wide receiver. But you're taking a small sample size for a much larger sample size. That's two years. <laughs> I out. get that recency bias. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you the recency bias for sure. Like him saying he wouldn't like Cam because most recently we've seen him, it was really, really bad. Oh, that was part of my point. Go ahead, keep going. Am I still dark on there? Um, no, you're all right. Good, good enough. I why am, am I really white now? You're always really white. Do you like black quarterbacks? But it, like, the more I move, <laughs> the more I move, Jordan, you want to do me a favor? Can you fix the camera as I talk? You're good, dude. Because you're good. every time I sit like that, you're good. Well, every time. Okay, now it's fine. Yeah, you're good. It's like every time I move up to switch the camera, it changes the, you're good. the thing. It, like, focused in. You're good. 
But roll with it. What did you, you said got somebody? Me real fucked up with the switching now because I'm like trying to focus on the cameras. We're good. Let's roll now. <laughs> Anyways, We're good now. I'm a lot of people are saying the Cam Newton. He was an MVP. Lamar MVP. Yes, you can be an MVP and not be that accurate of a quarterback, right? Yeah. Right. A lot of people still think Lamar is not that good of a thrower of the football. A lot of people, Cam Newton, why is he in the NFL anymore? When he wasn't able to use his legs as much, why is he not in the NFL anymore? Why is he not a lead anymore? Huh. It's because he's not that accurate of a fucking quarterback. Sorry, Whoa. sorry to tell you, that's how it is. All right. You can you can picture it however you want. This motherfucker on the Patriots, had more rushing touchdowns than passing touchdowns. Can I play white in the devil's goal advocate line. for a second here? Go ahead. No, you cannot. You can play black devil's advocate. I want to play white devil's advocate. Go for here. it. You're not allowed. So I understand the positioning of saying, you know, once Cam Newton had to rely on his arm, he was less effective. But I think the uh, I think it plays more to the dual threat aspect that once you've taken one part of his game out, it allows for people to... Uh, I guess game plan for one part and really be able, like Russell Westbrook, for example. He relies strictly on athleticism. Yes. Once his athleticism was gone, his production dropped tremendously, not yes. just a little bit. Yes. And I think as Cam Newton's athleticism started to leave him, he was still somewhat effective. But let's be real, that Patriots team was really garbage, too. Yeah. It was really garbage. He I mean, still ran the ball too. Like you said, he had more rushing touchdowns. Yeah, than passing. Yeah, and he was he was still effective with his legs, but listen, the team wasn't doing him any favors offensively. No, I agree that the Patriots have never really had great receivers. Also, I want you to think about this. You don't have to answer it. Lamar Jackson, if he didn't have his athleticism or his legs okay, to where he's no. shown, would he be in the no, NFL? No one answer no. this question. No one answer. Just think about it. Just want you to think about it. That is all. Would he still be a starting QB in the NFL? Yes. I just want you to think about it. You don't have to answer. I, I would like I'm to. not going to answer. I think I'm yes. just posing the question. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, I'm just saying, I understand they can do more. They can affect the game a different way as dual threat QBs. But that doesn't mean they're better than Brady. That doesn't mean they're better than Manning. QBs like that, that are pocket QBs. I'm going to learn from those dudes first. Mechanic, Matt Stafford type QBs how to throw football rather than Cam Newton. So can I ask you a question? Go for it. Uh, let's say you're coming out of uh, your high school. You are a D1 recruit. You play quarterback. And Cam Newton is hosting a yes, quarterback Yes, I would go camp to a Cam Newton camp. At Ohio State. And it's the only one available right now. Yes. You're going. I you got to learn something. Yes, I didn't say I would not. I know. Yeah. I'm okay. saying, listen, this is my hypothetical all alone. I have a list of fucking 60 QBs that played in the last five years. All starters, including Cam Newton. Cam Newton's going to be at the bottom of that list. They're all at the same time. They're all the same price. If you have to choose between all those guys, Cam Newton's going to be towards the bottom. If you have the That's pick of what the, I am saying. Yeah, uh, so you should have more phrased it like if I have the pick of the litter, yes, I would like to I have, to I have to go to one games. and I can go to any of them. Cam Newton's going to be at the bottom. That's what I was so you meaning. Go to Kenny Pickett's camp over Cam Newton's? Hell no, uh, no. You said Cam's at the bottom? Near the bottom. He's okay. not now the he's last. Now he's near the I'm bottom. I'm not going to go Zach Wilson over Cam or Tim Boyle or anyone on the Jets besides Aaron Rodgers. That was my point. Okay. Anyways, we can go on. I still think you're slightly disrespectful, but hey. while we're on the topic of black quarterbacks, <laughs> Russell Wilson, guys. Man, we got to talk about it. What a all-time bag fumble from the Denver Broncos. Um, I have a couple of details here real quick. We can all speak our piece on it. But uh, So the Broncos decided they are going to release Russell Wilson. They are going to take an $85 million cap hit. They gave up two first-rounders, two second-rounders, a fifth-rounder, and three players. And right after that, they signed him to a five-year $242 million contract. Now, last season, Russell Wilson threw for 3,500 yards, 16 touchdowns on a 60% completion percentage with an 84 QBR. The Broncos now have negative cap space. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they should have just ate it. What the hell happened? Hmm. Go ahead, Matt. You got something to say. I feel it. I, I have nothing. I... 
I have no idea. Is this he's the not big... a bad football player? He had a decent season. That's a respectable year. Yeah, I mean that's not that's not a fucking Pro Bowl year or anything like that. But it's not trash. You take it on your team, right? Yeah, absolutely. I take it on mine. I take that production on my team. Yeah, that's that's I, what I meant. I just think it breaks down to a locker room thing. He's an asshole. So and from what I hear, I don't know him personally, but that I'm hearing that he's just not a great teammate. And you hear guys like Marshawn Lynch, who's a very likable dude, come out and say that he didn't even have Russ's phone number when they were on the same team. Like, that's your running back. You got to share a backfield every single play. Yeah. And you don't have his phone number. You have to contact his agent to talk to him. That's fucked up. That's not somebody I want on my team. The production, sure. But that is not something that I want on my team. Yeah, I mean, I respect well, we'll that. We'll get into our team and uh, quarterbacks coming in. A couple minutes. Yeah, we uh, well, don't we'll worry. stay on the rest thing. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, that that's right underneath. Don't worry. We're we're gonna yeah. we're gonna walk that down. Um, oh, I heard uh, today. Obviously, everybody hears everything these days, but uh, we're insiders. Yeah, I heard today that uh, inside source says that uh, Kirk Cousins purchased a house in Atlanta. I did see that as well. And Grills are about to just translate right to Atlanta. He gonna listen, be, he gonna be all right. Listen, I'm not. I've seen that too. And uh, we'll see what happens. We see that's the number one thing we see all the time is somebody moves somewhere. You remember when Mike McCarthy was back in Pittsburgh and all of a sudden everybody's like, oh my God, Mike Tomlin's about to get fired and they're going to bring in McCarthy. <laughs> like, and yeah, I. Yeah, how many times did. Uh... How many times did Bill Cowher buy a house in Ohio? Like, that's not where he's fucking Exactly. And everybody's yeah. like, oh, my God, he's going back to the Browns. It's like, yeah. bro, he, he's from there, bro, chill. Like, <laughs> like the dude probably goes there for some peace and quiet. Like yeah. LeBron's house was for sale how many times? Right. Like, it happens. Um, I think this may be the biggest blunder in sports history by organization. Like, you didn't have to let this dude go. To your point of the locker room issue, definitely don't disagree with that. I think it was more of just tell Sean, him to sit at home. I think it was Sean Payton. I think he. I mean, they're the ego, either way. I think the ego was way too big, and I think he didn't like Russell Wilson. He went at him on the sideline. You know, they had that dispute. They benched him, and I think it just that relationship got too far gone to keep him around. That's what I'm thinking. But okay. I mean, you can't piss off a dude making two hundred and forty million dollars. Yeah, he was there two years. So he had three years left on his contract. Yeah. Your first year there with him, you're pissing this dude off. You guys are going at it. I've seen worse. Have you? Not in, Maybe not in the NFL. Okay. We've all seen worse in the NBA. Tell me. Then what just happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Because, uh, I mean, I remember when Latrell Sprewell, <laughs> they offered him a huge contract. And he said, I can't feed my family off of this. And they released him. And he never signed another contract Stupid, again. Right? That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shit. But uh, Derek, what you? What, they just hand out contracts. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> right, I mean, <clears throat> Timothy Moss, sixty mil for the Lakers. Yeah. What about Luol Deng? Who just didn't watching play Derek for like Mike four years, <laughs> bro. I know. Yeah, I don't your, your Mike is bouncing that Johnson. ass. It's on you too. I know. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, kind of what Matt said with the Marshawn thing. Marshawn hyped up Aaron Rodgers, who he played with at Cal more for a couple years more than he did with Russell Wilson winning the Super Bowl with him. Mm-hmm. Like that that tells you something. And they didn't do really shit anything at Cal. They didn't go far and do yeah, anything at Cal. Right. Yeah, they were just good. Which is wild. Yeah. Yeah, but so, I bet Aaron Rodgers had his phone number. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah they maybe. probably smoked weed together. Probably. hundred yeah. percent. They definitely doesn't drug some together. shrooms. Yeah, I think it was more than weed. Yeah, there you go. I think yeah. something like that. Oh yeah. A little like bit of shrooms. You know, chicken, chicken, yeah. you, know, you know Aaron Rodgers into them psychedelics. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Like he's a like, hey, I'm gonna roll the blunt and sprinkle something in it. <laughs> <laughs> so if we could predict we have a couple quarterbacks that are Where gonna be gonna go? moving. Uh, oh, I like this. I have a small list. Kirk Cousins is I wish one. It was longer. Pause. Russell Wilson is one. Justin Fields is one. Baker Mayfield is another so one. telling us all of them? And then, let's no. Just, let's just roll through them. So I'm going to tell you, and then I'm just telling you who's on the list to give oh. you a little second. Because I didn't prep you guys with this, so I oh. want to tell you who. Because there's one. two on here that are like you probably didn't think of. I like it when it's not prepped. Uh, Baker Mayfield is one that like everybody assumes he's going back to Tampa. Yep. Uh, and then I have a question mark next to somebody that I think could be on the move. Trey Lance. Sean Watson. Insiders say Insider Deshaun say. Watson is very disgruntled with the Cleveland Browns and the moves <sighs> or lack thereof during the offseason. That's got like 5K views. <laughs> <That's> got- 
Jesus. <laughs> All right, so let's start with Kirk All Cousins. All right, let's ride. Derek, it can go Derek Jordan me. We'll just roll through that. Kirk Cousins, where do you think he will land? It's all on you, dirt. Fuck. Minnesota's going to feel nice. They're going to give him his payday. Ooh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Who you got? No, I think he's going to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta, where the play is play. I got Atlanta too, baby. Ah, okay. Well, I wrote down the Raiders. Oh, that's a good one. I wrote down the Raiders. Probably, don't don't really typed it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Next guy, kidding. Russell Wilson. <laughs> All right, Big Dur. Unrestricted free agent. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. You don't think he gets picked up? Not in the beginning of the year. He's gonna get picked up. Somebody gets hurt or something. Yeah. Watch, it's gonna happen. No one's gonna want him. You gotta stop stroking your thigh. Bro. Okay. Why can you see it? Yeah. Just the arm movement. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with that. Wow. You guys are high I don't think there's any teams that like are like the Raiders aren't gonna sign him because they already had a locker room problem with Jimmy G. So why bring in another guy Listen, that's bro. gonna make a problem? I don't think he fits in Pittsburgh. Listen. He ain't about to be pulling that bullshit with Antonio Pierce. Facts. He gonna lay the wall Facts. down. Like Antonio Pierce will be like, yo, no, but give your fucking phone <laughs> number out. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. So all right, I have, like, this has played through my head so many fucking times. Okay. Um, if he will actually sign for a vet man, Pittsburgh is the one of the cheapest teams in the league. And mm-hmm. so we don't go out and give anybody contracts. You are calling him. We're probably going to take him. I if we it. can't get Justin. I can see it. Because Mike Tomlin is also another dude like Antonio Pierce. If we Antonio can't get Pierce. Justin, I... I can almost guarantee you Russ will go to Pittsburgh. I think he would be good with Mike Tomlin, honestly. I don't know. I don't think he really fits, but, like, with the the issues and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't know. You never know. He, he might be able to get him under control. Right. Um, personally, I think there's a good amount of teams that are a quarterback away from being a contender or a playoff team, so there's just no way you leave a dude who threw for 3,500 last year. You might stroll to Minnesota. I actually have Minnesota down. I think him, Minnesota isn't a bad Justin one. Jefferson, they just released uh, Alexander Madison. Uh, that hit their backup. Um, was it Chandler is his last name? I yeah, think? he's nice. He's Ty, pretty good. Ty. So, Ty, yeah, Chandler. Ty Chandler. There we go. So you don't know what they're going to do in the offseason. Is it Ty Various? No, it's just Ty. Oh, you're just being an asshole. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just Ty. I believe that that's the worst part. <laughs> but, yeah, I think he ends up in Minnesota. That, that's my pick. Um, the I next guy it. we have on the list, the Ohio State alumni. One, Justin Fields. Yeah, doggy. Jordan is wearing sunglasses, but I'm telling you guys now, he just rolled his eyes. His eyes are bleeding. Jordan's going to be in hell. He's going to go to Pittsburgh. And y'all are going to be in hell. No, we won't. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I think he's going to go to Minnesota. Ooh. Ooh, Justin? Yeah. Okay. Matthew? So, I think he... Goes to Pittsburgh for sure. <laughs> for the, sure? Yeah, like, I really in. do. But if, if he doesn't, if there's some reason that he doesn't, <clears> that's <throat> when I think we just like, oh, fuck it. Let's just go put Russ on a vet mid. Did you see the Twitter report that Pittsburgh has taken a step back from being in the bid war for him because they feel as though they're bidding for uh, against themselves? So they're taking a step back because they don't want to buy him too high. So that Listen, was, brother, I've seen a lot of fucking Twitter stuff, so oh, I'm yeah. staying off. Yeah, that 100%. was the news it's that I much. saw, but JPA said that uh, during the combine, Pittsburgh rescinded their offer yeah. for Justin Fields, and they're actually out on him now because the Bears wanted to fuck us over. How do you... Okay. Yeah, look, because we got in their ass in that Chase Claypool trade. <laughs> so I'm going to say who I think he's going to, and then we'll come back. I got a question about it. Um, I think he's going to the Falcons. I think he's from Atlanta. I think he would really work well with that offense. Him and Bijan, college style read option, would be freaky. I think it would be box office, as Stephen A. would say. On Amon Ra's podcast, he said that he don't know if he wants to go to Atlanta. I did like, see that. Home, he was like, got all kinds of people. Get into a little trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, you just got every single, every single person, like friends, family, everything are asking for tickets and all mm-hmm. this yep. and all that and you got dudes <clears> from <throat> high school reaching out and he was like i don't really know if i want that like yeah that ah. I, I mean i understand that though yeah I, I, I definitely get that too like you want to keep yourself away from your hometown as much as possible sometimes um jordan if you had to pick between the two let's just say it was russell wilson or justin fields who would you prefer to be the pittsburgh steelers starting quarterback week one 
Or it could be um, one of the guys you got on your roster already. Justin Fields. Justin Fields over Russell Wilson? Okay. Yeah. Would you prefer Justin Fields or Kenny Pickett? Justin Fields. Justin Fields over Kenny too? Okay. I just had to see where you were. <laughs> In my mind, honestly, <clears throat> if, if we can't get Justin, I would be okay with Russ as long as – Mike can get that shit under control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know he's going to actually throw the ball. Yeah. I think the Browns are going to get Justin. That's crazy. We got a second and a fifth. We just ain't got no first. What are we doing with Deshaun? Listen, bro. Reports say that he's upset <laughs> with the <laughs> offseason production. <laughs> reports. Sources. Don't say reports. We have sources, bro. We're on the inside now. Sheesh. I've got a guy at Lucas Oil Stadium right now <laughs> sending me stuff. The Browns talked to Xavier Worthy after he ran his 4-2. Did you know yeah, that? They love him. There's probably a lot of teams that just talked to him. All right. For no reason. Where do we think Baker Mayfield ends up? Tampa. New England. New England. Say that again. New England. The Patriots. <sighs> yeah, he's staying with Tampa. And Mike Evans just re-signed, too. They're going to run it back. Think they're running it back? Run it back. Did he like just resign? Yes, yeah, like Evans. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I didn't see that he resigned. Totally sent it to the group chat. No big deal though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did. I said it straight to. I it thought it was the happened. same thing that I already seen about him exploring free agency. No, no, no. It was literally his contract. Um, I think Baker ends up with the New York Football Giants. They are out on Daniel Jones. They well, are about to pull. Old. Uh, a Denver Broncos, and they're about to get rid of Daniel Jones and eat the dead cap space. That would be a wild turnaround because of what he said about Daniel Jones when I he know. got drafted. Right, right. Wouldn't that be funny? He'd take his job. I really don't believe that, but that would just be funny to see. But um, there are three contracts that are really bad in the NFL, and I truly want to see which one do you guys think is worse. Deshaun Watson. Do you guys think <laughs> Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, or Daniel Jones has a worse contract? Derek, you start. Can you give me what their contract is? I can. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You should know what that one is, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh Daniel <clears throat> Jones is four years, hundred and sixty million dollars. Okay. And then Russell Wilson was five years, two hundred and forty two million dollars. And he was released after two seasons. And take and they take a hard cap hit on that. Eighty five million to be exact. Yeah. Russ. George. At least you can get some playing time out of Deshaun and I mean, Daniel I'm not, Jones. I'm not Looking at oh, will they cut Russ? That's nah, it's Deshaun. Why can't you look at that? That's You're part of the contract. Yeah, you lose that money. Wasn't his contract. <laughs> they cut him. That wasn't a part of. The, hey, after two years, you're going to get cut. And no, the worst contract at the time of signing it is Deshaun. Watson. No, 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 no. Currently, currently, the worst not it's when not they signed it. Deshaun Watson signed it. <laughs> he said Russ is out of his contract. Deshaun. Watson. No, he's not. No, he's they not. Owe they own that. They owe him eighty-five, but he doesn't have anything he has to do for it. That's Deshaun. terrible it's for the Broncos. Not, it's, That's it's terrible for the Broncos. Okay. That's what we're saying. That would be who has the best contract because Russell Wilson is getting paid to not play football. That's the, why I said Deshaun Watson. I, I don't understand your logic here. I'm really confused. Deshaun I know you hate Deshaun and the Browns, sucks. but... Okay. Russ at least had two good years. He's not playing for him anymore. Russ had two good years. Right. He had Deshaun one good has year. had nothing. He okay. had one good Been year. Been paid more. Didn't take him to the playoffs. And Go on. 230 million is less than 242, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Okay, I didn't know what 12 uh, million Deshaun's less. was. Yeah, 12 okay. million less. Less Made money. 12 million less, but did way more than $12 million worth of less on the football field. Man, he's a fucking rapist. All right. Fuck that guy. How many minutes we in? I got to mute that out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you could be more wrong on this one. Okay. I don't think you could be more wrong on this one. Okay. I think paying a dude that's not on your team almost paying million. Paying anybody that fucking forces himself on females is disgusting. So. Oh, wait a second. You, you should not have said that. that. <laughs> you no. should not Matt, have said that. Sure wait a minute. He got paid before that happened. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. So he never got paid after that. Big Yo. Ben never got any money after that. Yeah. None. Oh, no. motherfucker, I'm cooking your ass no. now. Hell no, you shouldn't have said that dumb shit. So, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute. Let's rewind five seconds ago. What did he just say? Uh, what did he just say? What, what was that? You can say it. Because I don't remember Paying exact words. Paying a dude who forces himself on women. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, your quarterback yeah. did it first. Allegedly. <laughs> They're all alleged. Allegedly. Nah, They're all alleged. Alleged. Been cut. Dude, we you said, don't rape and not go to prison if it's court. true. 
No, you it's don't break and stuff. go to jail you if do it's not you have a lot of money. No, you don't. Yes, you, you go do. to jail. Harvey Weinstein's in jail. Bill Cosby went to jail. You go to jail if you have a lot of money. Those dudes have way more money than Deshaun. Bill Cosby drugged that girl. Exactly. And he still went to jail. These people are willing. That's why <laughs> it ain't raped then. <laughs> you just said it ain't raped. Oh, my God. I hate to steal this. I, you just whoa, said these whoa, women I are never, willing. I never said rape. You, but you just said... <laughs> It did come off like you were defending Jordan. No, no, no. no. It did come I'm off like you were defending my quarterback. No, it came off like you were defending Jordan. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You just said those are more willing. <laughs> why is it right there? I said allegedly. All right. okay. That's all I said was allegedly. All right. Oh, my God. Russell Wilson has the worst contract in the NFL. Well, Matt didn't give his, but we, we, we know Jordan's answer. I want to say Daniel Jones, honestly. I I wouldn't be mad if you said Daniel Jones. You hate white quarterbacks. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to no, go Daniel Jones, to be honest. Like, that dude's done nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Literally nothing at That's all. That's what, yeah. The only reason why I didn't say him is he can still play for him. Russ ain't playing for the Broncos anymore. That's why. Yeah, like, that is Did the Broncos too. save some money by, like, that $85 no, million they I don't, like, met at a number? They I'm, might have. I'm sure. So, like, they, they, eventually, they really only paid him, like, 185 and not. I'm sure. Like, we probably. Because there's no way that he got paid. No, he didn't get. He there's paid. no way the whole contract. Yeah, the whole contract. I'll see what the, like, what the breakdown so was. That might, they but I don't know They the might have saved money by releasing it. I'm th- I, they in, did, the, in the long term, probably. Yeah, but the no, fact. This season and next season. Those first two upfront years. What did they pay him? Like forty mil each? Probably. That's what I'm, that's so what I'm so they, right they, they might have really only paid Russ one sixty. And so for the first two years, it's not good. It, it, well, yeah. After release, like, oh, that's what I mean. Like yeah. one sixty in totality over three years. Oh no 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 no! They, they they got they got rocked. Who did Broncos? They got rocked. Yeah. They're they're paying him this entire contract. Hey, yeah, Mister Mister they, Unlimited. They're they paying him this entire contract. Uh, let me double check. Hold on. Let me click one more source real quick. I'm pretty sure he is getting paid this entire contract. What makes you think that, though? Uh, because it just had the breakdown over the years and what he was getting paid per year. And what, what did he get paid the first two? That's what I'm going back to it to make oh, sure okay. real quick. Let me let me double check real quick. Hold on. Uh, you guys get some uh, background noise real quick. It, it's on, Jordan. <laughs> get some background noise while I do this real quick. He said, um, I thought he was about to start talking. There's a lot of numbers in here that I just don't really understand. It just um, made me laugh. <laughs> it's all right, dude. Who cares? Let's move on to the next His topic. yearly cash, he got $57 million <clears throat> in 22, $28 million in 23. All right, so that's 100 and, and some change. Plus 85. 124 was fully guaranteed. Would be this year. <laughs> that's a lot of money. And they're $15 million negative cap space right now <clears throat> with nobody on that team. Nobody. They got Patrick Sertan. They about to draft their asses off. How many? They probably don't well, got they, a lot of. No, they flipped Bradley Chubb. And uh, they'll restructure some people and get it close. What did they get for Bradley Chubb? Two firsts or something like that? I don't remember. Ah, screw Ain't them. no way they got two firsts for his bitch ass. I think they did. What? The Broncos only got one first round, a third round, a fourth round, a fifth round, a fifth round, and a sixth. That's not bad. That's not that much, though. Cooper, yeah. Cooper DeJean in the first? Probably. You have six picks, and only two of them re- are in the first three rounds. To get Bless their, you. They'll restructure to get their, like, Bless their you. cap up. Thank you. Dang. Yeah, they, they really don't have a choice. All right, where are we going next? All right, in other news. We got our content. Our Let, content let's move to some basketball. The they got, I mean, their third round pick they oh, got from the Sean Payton trade. Say, I think Trey Lance is also going to the Vikings. No, I didn't hear you say that. What did you say? go to Trey Lance. Yeah, I, I didn't. I thought you... No, I think that he's also going to go to the Vikings. Okay. I just don't think he's going to play ever. Yeah, I don't think he matters. I, th- I can see him being in, like, uh, the Raiders or the Falcons. I can see them trying he's to trade He's going to turn out like Marcus Mariota. <laughs> but Marcus at least got to start. He started a little bit, yeah. But and I made the playoffs. Eventually. And caught his own touchdown. Facts. And still sucks. <laughs> yeah, Trey Lance couldn't facts. do that. Oh, he might be able to. Brett Favre did it. I'm sure Trey Lance can do it. Nope. Facts. I don't think anybody looked at Brett Favre's this athletic special. Where are we going now? No. All right. Uh, we can go NBA or we can go college. NBA is quick. Uh, let's Straight. skip NBA because I have a game for it. So oh, it's okay. Not let's go college first, then NBA, and then, and then go to Jordan's game. All right. So college, yeah. boys. Half hour more right now, boys. The conference championship. I have a question, too. Go ahead. It's for college basketball. What do you think the best college backcourt was? Ever? I saw it was... 
someone said Kentucky with uh, Fox and uh, the Aaron Fox and, and Malik, Malik Monk. Monk. Yeah. Yep, the Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. Is that your answer? I'm completely biased. I know. I went to Kentucky, bro. I'm I saw it, and that's why it made me think. Uh, yeah. John Wall and Eric Bledsoe went. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't have to really like go back. Think. And look. Yeah, I don't. I, don't I didn't watch. Think so. back to those Duke teams. Well, someone Googled that this cat went to Kentucky. Derek, yeah. Derek got Googled before. Dawkins. Yeah, I did. That's crazy. Y'all can Google it. Yeah, it'll come up. As a lie. No, nah, it'll come up. Try. <laughs> we'll make a f- find it. fake blog pages and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I edited my Wikipedia, so it'll, it'll fucking come up. Dunkin' and shit. Anyways, you can go to your college, but think about like what I said if anything comes to mind. All right, so Derek, oh, Jordan, how much college basketball have you guys watched? Who was in the backcourt with Kimball Walker? He was fucking nobody. Nuts. Nobody. Nobody was on that team. Yeah, it was so. UConn. It was Kemba. That's it. Um, how much college basketball have you guys watched this year? Full Decent games. Amount. Full games. Uh, for me, I would say zero. Like watch all the way through, but sporadically turn it on. Watch like the second half. Probably about five to six. I've maybe watched five total minutes of game time. Okay, so Jordan, I need you to do me a favor. While you have the laptop, pull up. Each conference when I give it to you. So we're going to pull up the conference and we are going to predict who we think will be the conference championship of five conferences. Also, there was a guy with the last name Dawson that went to Kentucky. Me. Uh, The Big Ten, the Big 12, the SEC, the Big East, and the ACC. You said he did what? He played football and his name was uh, Dermonte. Yeah, I was a five-star. Dermonte Dawson. Yeah, they spelled his name wrong. Dermonte Dawson was a center for the Steelers. Hey, yeah, dang, they he spell was my name wrong. by the Steelers in the <laughs> 80s. He's in the Hall of Fame. He was drafted in 88, Dante. I was born in 72. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to predict the Big Ten, the Big 12, the SEC, the Big East, and the ACC. Starting with the Big Ten. Pull up the Big Ten, Jordy, and just give us the top three to five teams and who you guys think will win the Big Ten. And the favorite for the Big Ten is Purdue, but... Purdue has lost to Ohio State. Upset alert. Bam, 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 bam. So. Jeez. All right, your top five in the Big Ten right now is Purdue 1, Illinois 2, Northwestern 3, Nebraska 4, and Wisconsin 5. Okay, so who do we think will win the Big Ten? Do you Jesus guys want Christ, me to start? Michigan has three wins. Derek, go. Purdue. All right, Jordan, go. Purdue. Matt, go. Uh, Illinois. I got to go with Purdue. I don't want to, but I got to go with Purdue. Okay, next. And I think they get bounced early in the tournament. Yeah. Um, the Big 12. Ohio State's going to make noise. This one's going to be a little tougher. You got it, Jordy? Big 12 is Houston, Iowa State, Baylor, BYU, and Kansas. Iowa State. Uh, Texas Tech is sixth right outside. That, Where's I, Texas at? Uh, eighth. Dang. I didn't know they TCU, were that far down. It's Texas Tech. Behind TCU, the woodshed. Texas. Behind the woodshed. All right, Derek. Houston. Yeah. I'm just taking the number one and everything because I have no idea Houston. Okay, we're going to skip Jordan. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that's what I thought. I'm we gonna, gonna anyway. I, dude, that Iowa State and Houston <clears throat> game is going to be a banger. Oh, it's going to be a banger. Oh, it's it's going to be a banger. banger. And they're going to meet in the uh, the Big 12 championship. And uh, Houston is going to win. Iowa State is really good this they year, are. too. They're really good. Um, I'm going to go with Houston, too. Houston, I think they're going to make it to the Final Four, so I... Yeah, they're nice. I mean, it depends who they catch, but I'm going with Houston. Um, all right. All right, Jordy, what's next? The SEC is where we're moving to next. S I got to scroll to it. C. SEC's tough this year. Yeah. Tough, tough SEC this year. Yeah, there's not really many, like... What the fuck is the SEC actually called? Is it the Southeastern Conference? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tennessee, South Carolina, Alabama, Auburn, and Kentucky. Ooh. With Florida okay. at six. Jordy, Ooh. or uh, Derek, you know? Anybody can win that one. Yeah, it's, I mean, you could you could have named to number eight and somebody else might win. Yeah. They've all South beat Carolina each other. is tough as fuck. Every single one of those teams have beaten each other for the most part. South Carolina beat Tennessee at home and Tennessee give, beat South Carolina. Give me Tennessee just because they have the best record in the conference. Okay. All right. Uh, Jordy, just give me a name. Alabama. Oh, I like it. I like it. I thought you were skipping me. I have <laughs> said, no I idea. You I'm were skipping me. At uh, five names and saying one. Nice. I'm gonna roll with the Great White Hope, Dalton Connect, Dalton Connect, and roll with Tennessee. Dang! All right, so we got two Tennessees and a Bama. Well, I'm gonna throw a fourth team in there. Third team. Oh, I said fourth. Sorry, third. Come on, bro. 
The Gimme other, Kentucky to win the SEC. No, baby. I was the for other it. great white hope. Gimme Kentucky to win the SEC. We keep us a cold white boy, and Reed Shepard is coming to f- win. I'm trying to clean it up. Win. All right. Next conference. The next conference I have written down is the Big East. And this one isn't so close. This Big really, East, Jordy. There's really top two teams here. And Jordan, as you look. UConn or Creighton? <laughs> it's really about it. No. Uh, well, Creighton is uh, third. It's UConn. I bet you got Marquette, too. Marquette. Oh, I forgot I about forgot Marquette. About Marquette. So I had UConn, teams. Creighton. I forgot about Marquette. Three. UConn, Marquette, Creighton, Seton Hall, Villanova. Yeah. After, after, Villanova after, sucks. after Creighton, it's all bad. All right, Derek. What you got? Just We're, roll with the defending national champs. Marquette, UConn. Marquette. Creighton. No. Okay. That's what no, I'm. I'm not g- oh, okay. rolling with it. Okay, uh, Jordy. I mean, UConn is sixteen and two, so I'm just gonna go with them. That's a good pick. Uh, I have to roll with U- UConn as well. Um, Creighton ain't gonna be able to do nothing with them dudes. They beat them once. Yeah, no. They beat them once. Once it matters. I mean, it's conference play. Yeah. Everybody beats sixteen and two <clears> in conference. That. 26 that, and 3 uh, overall. What's that guy's Who's name? Kalt Brenner? Kalt He's Brenner, soft yeah. as fuck. Hey, but he was playing the other day. I was watching it. He was going. Uh, I'm going to go with Marquette, actually, though. I think Marquette played like a bunch of caged dogs. Boop, boop, Shout out boop, to who's that? Seth uh, Greenberg that said that? Yeah. And then for the last conference, the ACC. Is that the uh, Atlantic. Atlantic Coast? Yes. You got Virginia so you got Tech. UNC, Duke. Yeah. Duke, Virginia, Syracuse, and Clemson with Pitt. Right outside of sixth. Damn, where's Virginia Tech? They stink. Way the fuck down there. They went eight and ten in their. They division. got that one win. Yeah, they're uh, six, sixteen and thirteen. Well, they got that one win. Virginia Tech at home against somebody good. Was it Duke? No, it was Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah, they yeah. beat them by Virginia like forty. Tech is yeah, tenth. Yeah. Dang. Oh, no. they gonna be upsetting some people then. All right, who you got? North Carolina. Virginia. Virginia. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I mean, they could. I mean, they could. I'm not. They could. I had no idea uh, last year doing the March Madness thing, and I won it. So there yes. you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna roll with uh, North Carolina as well. I just think they have way too much experience. Yeah, like they're they're just old, man. Like Baycock, like he's been in college for seven years. He has. <laughs> uh, I'm going North Carolina too. I just think they're the best team. I mean, I, I think them and Duke will play again, another banger. Like we got R.J. Davis putting up 45 points and stuff, and Baycott getting 15-plus rebounds. I can't remember his name, but that guard for Duke is nice, too. <clears throat> he can score the ball. Oh, dude with um little light-skinned dude with the like curly hair. Zero. Yeah, what's his name? Damn it. I was just watching the game last night. I know, me too. I can't day. remember his name. I can't remember right now either. It's escaping me. But, uh, yeah, he is good, though. He definitely is good. But, uh yeah, man, are we uh we throwing some bets down or what, Max? We cleaned up the conference championship yeah, last year. Jared McCain. Today. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the dude that just would bang threes, yeah, just hot as hell. Yeah, yeah. I do. I like the one dude from North Carolina though. Uh, I think his number is fifty-five. He was a transfer oh my from god, bro. He, he can shoots play. the shit yeah, out of the basketball. What about that white guy from Indiana State? Oh, uh, oh, cream oh, up, cream yeah. up, cream <laughs> up, <laughs> up <laughs> yeah, cream. That dude's a baller. <laughs> it's crazy that my dude will be in Europe next year. <laughs> he would be. He will be. All right, so let's uh, segue to a little bit of NBA talk real quick. Um, I don't know how much NBA you guys have been watching, you know, um, but I want to talk about the most valuable player. Who do you guys have as MVP thus far? I know we have Jokic. We got some people talking about Tatum. Luka. SGA. Let me get my boy SGA. That's my pick right now. He's got the Oklahoma City Thunder as the one seed. Uh, well, I'm just going to go after Matt. Uh, even though Jokic probably deserves it, we know the team, the person that deserves it doesn't always get it, especially when yeah. you just play the same and you're like, yeah, he's amazing. But he had 30, 10, and 10 last year. It's like, eh, you know how it goes. I'm yeah, going with SGA, had, too. They're like a fresh face. So he had I think- 17 sacks last year. Sorry, sir. Can't win defensive player of the year. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Um, I said Luka in the beginning of the year. I don't think he is going to win it. I don't think he deserves it. Um, Luka's been going off this year. He has been going off, but uh, Jokic, I mean, I think he deserves it. I don't know if he'll win it, but... Well, he didn't go back to back. He deserves it, I think. So I can see him winning because he, Embiid won it after him. So yeah. a lot of times you go back to and back, hurt. no way you're getting it the third time, so... He could come back and get another one. Give me Jokic, I guess. Did yeah. you say? Jordan's going to say Jokic. Did you say Derek? Jokic. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go Jokic too. Big Dur. If you had to pick a finals matchup right now, right now, oh. who are you picking to go to the finals? Celtics. The Celtics if, are going. I hate to say if it. If I the had to pick, I would probably say Celtics Nuggets. Celtics Nuggies. Ooh. That's probably would be my thing too. Who's the top two in the West? Is it Minnesota and okay okay OKC and Denver? Yeah. Oh, Minnesota, Minnesota flipped fell, flipped, up, flipped uh, yeah, fell off. Really, you know who's four. fifth in the Western Conference right now? The Pelicans. Well, you know <laughs> the Pelicans. You know what's crazy about that? The top ten. It's only like nine games apart it's from all, each other. It's like that every year in the West. That's though. what's crazy. <laughs> like because I'm always watching where the bum ass <clears throat> the East does not are like every that. year, and they'll be because the East is a huge gap. It's top three, and then everybody after has low key garbage. But yeah, like, <clears throat> the West. I was always I was looking at it, and I saw like the Lakers. They're ninth, I want to say. Mm-hmm. They're and the they're Pelicans are tenth, fifth. I think. Well, well, they won. They were tenth night. in this morning yesterday. Lakers are okay. ninth. They're this ninth morning, yeah, nine and a half games in the morning yesterday. And the Pelicans so. are still fifth. Fifth, six and a half games. And I think it's a one and a half game difference <laughs> between, between those the Pelicans two. And I think the Lakers. Yeah. I can think they have like one more win and one and like one less loss. Uh, they have two more wins. Two more wins. Okay, two wins, and it's. Four spots back. Two more wins, yeah. but the Lakers have four more losses. That's a play-in and a secured spot in the playoffs. Lakers about to be on upset alert. Somebody's getting upset. But um, before we get out of NBA talk, I wanted to uh, talk about something. Who's your MVP? Who did you say? SGA? Oh, I said SGA. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think, I think they'll pick a fresh face. Uh, LeBron James has got the 40,000 points. and uh, Just regular season. Just regular season. <laughs> that is not counting playoffs. LeBron James has logged 21 seasons thus far in the NBA. In our lifetimes, all right? So we probably got about, me and Matt, another 50 years on this good old earth. Matt, in the next 50 years, do you think we will see this record broken before we go out? Yeah. You think so? Luca? No. No, I don't think Luca's going to be close. He's got 11,000 already, and he's 25. Yeah. So you think he can do it for 15 more years? I don't think he's going to have to do it for 15 more years. You don't think so? I don't know. I don't think I don't think Luca gets it. That's I, just what he does. He just scores the basketball. I mean, I get that. I think. I mean, partially it's one putting up the points, but two is also playing for a long with, time with all the threes that he shoots too. His, I just think that his game, like he don't do nothing crazy. He's not like that's what I was gonna athletic. say. He he's not yamming on slow. people to where he's risking injury. I just think he kind of like just rolls with it. He he's gonna be a shooter f- for a while. He can still get to the rack, and he's super young. He's I don't know. You he don't is. See he's twenty five. Yeah, he's only twenty five. Why does he seem like he's way older than that? Because he came in the league as that's a like, pro at that's like, like nineteen. It's like yeah. Tatum, bro. Tatum's been in the league for like eight years, and he's only like twenty five. Bro, he's yeah. been in the league forever. Yeah, like dude, well, he's a little older. I know Tatum's twenty five. Sure. Yeah. Jason Tatum is 25 years old, bro. Yeah, he came in the league at 19 or 22, I think. It just seems like Tatum, Tatum came in at 18. At 18? Yeah. Oh. That's why I'm, I'm, and then like, he, I'm pretty sure he did. And he was just successful. I mean, they were literally in the playoffs every single year. He's Listen. 26. Bitch, his birthday was two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> got you, motherfucker. He did. He got me. But yeah, like Jason Tatum, 26 years old. Dude seemed like he's been in the league for 15 years. Man, this dude's birthday really is March 3rd. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, yeah, Jason Tatum, he is, what year did he get drafted? Five years. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. Well, 2018, He at 19. Yeah, six years. So he got to do young. He yeah. was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we, I don't think we see this record much. broken, though, man. Like, <clears throat> 40,000 points is crazy. Like, we've had dudes average 30 for a career don't even get there. Like, Luca can average 30 for his career. Like, let's see. What, what is Luca's average for his career? It's probably... I have it up, actually. So... I mean, his career right now, average? Yeah, career average. 28.5. 28.5. So, listen, if Luca can average... longevity. Yeah, if Luca can average 28 and a half for another... Uh, he's averaging 35 this year. Yeah, he's going crazy this year. I mean, look, his average is just in the NBA... 28 and a half, 8 and 8.6. Yeah. 8.6 rebounds, 8 
assists. He's averaging 35, 8, and 9 this year. Yeah, dude, yeah. he's going to be 10. It's 9.7 assists. Yeah, averaging 28, 8, and 8. He's, like, right where LeBron was. I mean, I think Luka does have one of the best shots at getting it. I just don't know if we'll see Luka play 20, it's 21 just, years. It's just hard to say someone to play 20 years and not get a Any fucking season-ending any. injury. Yeah, because that's the thing. You LeBron's missed, closest thing was a groin pull. Yeah, like, you <laughs> like, missed one full season. That your chances are diminished right there. Yeah. Okay, so what about LeBron's other record? His double digit scoring record. Let me get the exact games, but he has over a thousand games with scoring ten plus points. I think the only person that was I mean second place all time, I think, is MJ at like eight hundred or seven hundred. And it was Kevin Durant, but then was it KD second place? It was. Oh. It was. I thought it was MJ. All right, so LeBron James has scored 10-plus points in 1,160 games. The next closest person is Michael Jordan Okay, with 900 games. It was 900. And some change. That's crazy. Do we think crazy. that record ever gets broken? The last time LeBron didn't score double digits in the regular season was 2006. That's insane. That is insane. Good old LeBron glazing sesh right now. Yeah, I'm just Gone. not here for it. Do you think that would like, be broken? You gotta stop. Sure. <laughs> sure it will. Know. Sure it will. You got to just, just appreciate it, man. Like, just for the last couple of years. You probably only got, hey, what, what do you say? You probably <clears throat> only got two more years of this fuckery. <laughs> yeah, said that for Deuce said, eight years ago, started <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank God we won't have to go through this fuckery much longer. All right, so, Jordy, you got a game? <laughs> yes. So, uh, the game that we're playing... Pretty much copy and paste of the game from last week, but it's NBA. NBA. Oh, I'm not getting this. I like how so, oh, bro. Has this For NBA some reason, I'm not getting it. NFL dudes wear helmets, and I know their face is better than NBA. You're sick. Okay. Well, well, I know. The good thing is, I change. I'm changing the rules a little bit. Hey, that whole time we were talking about LeBron, the camera was on Derek. Really? Because <laughs> Matt was playing on his phone. This no, guy. I didn't want it on you, dude. <laughs> you can still hear my voice. It don't matter if you're looking at me or not. <laughs> Um, but I'm changing the changing the rules a little bit. You got to leave it on them. You do not get a point. If I need to clip it up, I ain't clipping it on me. You don't get points for telling you a player, bro. We're about to get like they're two, all players that we all know. We're about to get like two points, bro. There's no points for telling me who it is because they're all players that the moment you see them, you'd be like, okay. So I know what are we telling you? Who is the which number? number okay, just the number. You're, You're telling point me for the just number. the number. All right, let's just the number Brown's will number. give you points. Which it's ten fifty seven. Huh? Which Jalen Brown's number? I have it's no fucking idea. That's why seven. I created it's the game. It's ten fifty seven. Let's <laughs> ride, Derek. Let him explain it instead of all of us talking while he was trying to explain it. He did, but it was after we we asked questions. Oh, but we were kind of talking. We were talking in the middle. Playing the NBA number guessing game. It's different than last week because you're not going to tell me the player. I just want their number. So So you want the dude's numbers? (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 3-3-0. Essentially. So So you want to call Jason Tatum. (laughs) Last week we went Matt, Derek, or Matt, Dante, Derek. This week we're going to go Derek, Dante, Matt. Oh, hell no. And I don't have them broken up for people. So, Derek, there are nine players on this list. Pick a number one through nine. Oh, like I don't even get to see a picture of him? I sent you a He's picture. He's going to send it. Oh, okay. Cool, but but okay. I was like, that at least nine. helps me envision. Okay, it at least helps me envision. So you it. say, give me number eight, and boom, you get that number eight's picture sent to you. Seven, baby. Are they sent to us or? That's going to be sent in the group. If Derek doesn't get it, then. <sighs> Bam, Derek, camera's on you. What do you got? Dante. It hasn't will came up yet, has it? Breaking news. <laughs> oh Giants goodness, are not placing the franchise tag on Saquon Barkley. Sorry. Houston Texans, here he comes. So, Derek, there is your player. Dude, I'm sweating. I'm hot. I'm waiting. <laughs> Did he send it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in that uniform? Kemba? Yeah, that's yes. what I'm and saying, it's bro. For that team, every one of these. Uh, and there's a guy that's played on that team twice, but he went away for like three different teams and then came back. I want the number for when he came back, not before when he was there. I feel like you should get either one. Yeah. If he was know. on the Don't team. make a game hard that you wouldn't score points in. <laughs> I wouldn't score any. Damn. I might not know this. I don't. I mean, I have a guess, but... I wanted to say... Oh, Kyle. my God, I know it. I just had a, re- a revelation. It's going to be wrong. Watch. <laughs> what you picking up your phone for? To look at fucking Kemba. <laughs> <laughs> I know what number it is, bro. 
I had a revelation. Let's see if AI messed up taking away the number. I don't think it did. <laughs> no, my hands are clean. Bro. AI did pretty good at taking away the number. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight. Give, Give me, me a guess. Zero. No. Dante? Dun, 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 dun. Number eight. It was. I'm a motherfucking dog, bro. It was number eight. So. It came to me in a dream. Dante, with that. Palms are sweaty. Pick a number one through nine, excluding this number seven. Long. Who it remembers Kemba on the fucking eight. Celtics? Number eight? Oh, Literally, man. I was just going through So you're going to be pissed. This is the only up. like relatively hard player I put on here. <laughs> you don't think Kemba playing for the Celtics is right? That was yeah. fucking uh, rough Matt, for me. Did you have who head? this guy is? Eight. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Andre Roberson. Oh, I know this. Andre so I Roberson? I, do. I don't um, know Cat's numbers. I'm not getting this the point the this game. This was the hardest one on the list in terms of who they are. I think I have I have a number in my head, but was I don't know if it's twenty one. He was number mm-hmm. twenty one. I knew that one. Dang it, Dante! No ball, bro. I don't. He was so garbage. <laughs> that count. He was, yeah. He could be up though. He was uh, the same. The reason as, I picked uh, him is I was watching. I couldn't think he of was like NBA films until your eyes bleed. No, nah, I couldn't. Rachel uh, Demita's podcast. Of, like, random <laughs> NBA boy, players. Yeah. So I was watching like somebody playing two K on live. And uh, it was one of the old 2Ks, and Rachel Demita popped up, and I was like, ooh, Andre Robinson. Hey, Jordan couldn't think of enough NBA players, so he had to no, start watching. So I wanted people with like weird numbers, though, that would be a little harder to guess. <laughs> Man. He was kind of a set for low show reincarnated. Yeah, pretty much. Matt, Matt, two. Two. Matt next Number one's two. Boris Diaw. Good luck. Small legs? Huh? Boris Diaw. What about him? I don't know. It's going to be the next one, probably. Yeah. I'm working out legs. I hit. <laughs> <laughs> what? You see them quads, though, cousin? Look how fucking pain like. I walked three miles yesterday. 17. Dude. It was 17. Easy money. Go off, King. Easy money. He didn't even think about that. Derek is in hell. <laughs> Look at his face. Derek is in hell. If you I, would have said Pelicans one, I don't know if I would have got him. Oh, that I would remember. Zero? Mm, I, I think don't that know. he was still back to number four on the Pelicans. Oh, four. Did he go back to four? I think so. That's I why remember. I think I picked... A, um, the only difference when I watch football six, games, I'm like, oh, number relates to player. You when I look at face. basketball, I'm just like, oh, you that's the face. player. So, <laughs> yeah. Derek, it's back to you. Number two, two. number seven, and just number give me eight two. are I already gone. took two. Oh, they're gone. Yeah, one. Two, seven, and eight are gone. One. You probably made this the hardest one, too. No, this is probably the easiest one. Because that's the first one I thought of. I'm going to miss it. It's Greg Monroe with Greg the Bucks. Monroe. Matt, if you got to run out. I don't got no chance to steal, do I? Oh, unless Dante misses. I don't know Lou Will's number. Yes, you do. Oh, for the Hawks. 21. He's like, I want it when he came back. Right. You. Nah, this one's not coming to me. Uh, 69. You got to guess? Yeah, I'm just going to guess a number and just see if I can get something. Um, Dang, he's Googling with his chip in his brain. He's I using am, Starlink I or whatever. I'm, like, I'm trying to like that so Raven have a, a vision real mm-hmm. quick. Nah, it's just not coming to me. Just guess. I just say mine quick to get him out of the way. <laughs> Zero. No. 23. Was it twenty two? Either time on the Hawks was he twenty three? He was twenty three before. Though. He was twenty three. He was twenty three on a, almost every team besides yeah. the Hawks. Oh, we're just gonna keep going. I, like I think that's a wash, brother. Yeah, I think you should watch that one too. He has two numbers you could get since Dante wanted to change my rules of my game. Ah, it was a suggestion, motherfucker. How about you play your game? How about I give you some NBA players and you tell me what number is Al Horford? This guy, Lou Will, number six. Give me a. Oh, that's who I was gonna say next. Give me a point. All right, good job. Yeah, I didn't see him. He was six. Wasn't yeah. seeing that one. Three and three and six. Three the Fuck. first time, six the second time. It's weird. Yeah, I didn't see six. All right. All right, Dante. Dante's turn? Yeah. One, two, seven, and eight are gone. Give me three. Three. Let's see who we got. Let's see who we got. <laughs> what, bro? Shaking my head at Matt. My lord, bro. <clears throat> Spencer Dinwiddie with the Pistons? That's trash. When the hell did he play there? That <laughs> is trash. Oh, my drafted. God. 28. No. <laughs> I don't know. Spencer Dinwiddie played for the Pistons? 
didn't even know that. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> Dog, this is hard, bro. Zero? No. Why is zero our go-to? That's the only time I said zero. I don't know. I said zero twice. Derek, you got a guess? Why does it look like his jersey's a wife beater? I'm a wife It has like the lines with it. Wait. (laughs) 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 All right, Derek, we know you don't know. 22. No. Number eight. I was close. All right, cool. Had eight in it. All right, my turn. <clears throat> oh my god. Six or nine. What? Uh, 69. Wait, what if. You have four, five, six, or nine you can pick to from. To pick from? Uh, let me get four. Four? Okay, this one should be easy. Oh, uh, here we go. This is Cat about to get a Chicago Bull. I haven't. I don't think I've known one yet, to be honest. So. <laughs> That's not easy. I don't oh, remember that one. Shit. I don't remember. He's that only one. worn two numbers. Well, I couldn't tell you either. <laughs> I have a hint. Is the number he's wearing now one of his numbers that he's worn? Mm-hmm. Okay. I know what number he wears now. <laughs> I just don't know if it was for this team. <laughs> Why is he throwing up gain signs? Hey, when we had the episode, did you put the player up in it? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Because I'm like, they're like, they have no clue who it is, and we're just like, <laughs> yeah. Me and Jordan talked about that. That's why we said, uh, ah, fuck, I don't know, bro. Six. Six. Good guess, Let's bro. Go. Like, I knew That's he wore six guess. with the Knicks, right? Yeah. Did he? So he wears eight right now. He wears eight right now. Right okay. now is the only time he's worn eight. He okay. wears six, six with the Knicks. I was going to I guess. I just thought maybe it would fuck you up with him in a match. But in my head, I was like, it did. And it's like, and he got like the most random Mavs jersey I ever seen. Yeah, like, it looks like cities. Jordan edited that jersey. Right, like, the city edition. Yeah, it looks like he played NBA Street for it. All right, Derek, you have five, six, or nine left. Sixty-nine. Can I have 69? No. Give me the last one. Nine. You want nine? Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. smiled, that bastard. Nine. You might get nine. He was he was searching <laughs> for players at this point. He's right, right. right. On nine. Oh, shit. No, KG. that's easy. 22? <gasps> no. Didn't he wear 22? No, nah, he wore 21. Single digit. But this is a single digit. Five. No. Damn. Do you know, Matt? I thought it was listen, five. Listen, if all you guys oh, miss it, Celtics listen. Was five? If you guys... He was the big ticket, number five. If you guys roasted me... Was it me, single digit that he wore here? No, you don't give oh. him a hint. Yeah. It was. Hey, they just roasted I'll me. I'll give you a hint. It and was, And then they I just think. don't know. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I thought... Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought I was for sure right. I'm going to be honest. I really want you guys to get <clears> these <throat> next three wrong because I want the tiebreaker to come out. Yeah. Between those two, not me, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be Timothy Miles. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He I want was, Jordan uh, to play this game. Oh, yeah. I don't want to play. <laughs> I just make the games I don't want to play. That's trash. That's so trash. No, that's smart. Because I just be saying pass every time if we play this game. And you got to get your knowledge up, bro. I you can't be on a give... podcast and not know shit about yeah. basketball. Yeah, I can. No, I can you can't. be can. the football guy. Was he number two? Guy. He was number oh, two. Oh, man. Let's you fucking go, bastard. baby. You bastard. Damn it. All right, oh, Dante, you have five bad. or six. Hey, it's been on Derek's <laughs> I was thinking. Dude. <laughs> we two. talked about this. I was thinking. You're about to fire back. <laughs> Five. Jordan's running the board for the next game. He can't run this game and run the board. Fuck, <laughs> dude. I'm so mad I missed that. I thought I had that. All right. Who's it on? Me. Dante. He picked player number five. <sighs> Can I text you when I think? It's it crazy because like. I remember him playing there, but like, I don't think I watched a single game with him on the Wizards. I'm just gonna go with zero. No. Me? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'm glad you switched it. <laughs> um. The only time in his career he did not wear number zero. Oh, of course. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's what he picks. Of course, he did that on purpose because he's like, yeah. oh, they're all going to pick zero. Of course uh, we are. I'd like remember it in my head. It's not, it's a single digit still. I literally see him missing I, a dunk it, and everything. Yeah, bro. Um, so it wasn't three. He was playing Bradley Beal. Or he might have left. I don't know. No, he was with Beal. Beal just left last season. Well, this season, technically. Um... 
I'm just gonna roll with uh do it. Do it. Do it. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I, I got so out. many numbers going through my head right now. Go with the first uh, one. All right, blink your mind out. Three, two, nine. No. Good guess. There? I think. Four, because I cheated. God Man, damn. hold on, what? That's crazy. No, nah, you don't get no points for that. <laughs> Because I wanted one point no matter you what. You shouldn't have said I cheated. Yeah, then. So now you got negative, negative points. Now you have zero still. Who edits it, baby? You have zero points? Yeah, I didn't get one. <laughs> what do you want me to say? All, All right. right. Matt, you get player number eight as your last player. How many do you have? Two or three? Matt has three. You have I got two. two. Oh, I got to steal this one. You can. No, because I'm going to cheat and you're not going to get a get chance. A Don't cheat, bro. You ain't going to get a chance. Hurry up. Matt got to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, the crazy part. I think I know this, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> this guy has so many numbers. <laughs> he did. Pick any of the seven hey, that he had. I was about to say, Matt, you guess anywhere in the 30s and you're close. It's <laughs> really how it goes. And it's probably 28. No, I'm just playing. No, it's, I can see the jersey. In Me my, too. Somebody <laughs> with a jersey in my head. Haters will say LeBron had shit. More than other places. And Dwight Howard. <laughs> he won a championship with Dwight Howard. Did he wear this another place? Nah, you can't tell him that. Oh, bro, he was giving out hints earlier. Nah. This is the only time in his career he wore this number. Oh, he did give out hints earlier. That's what I'm saying. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time in his career Who's the camera? he wore this number. 33. Yep, you got it. It was 33. Fuck yeah. Motherfucker, you're raping me with this collapse. Well, just for you fun, don't even just have a thing see if you guys can get the, the tiebreaker working together. All right, let's see if we can get the tiebreaker, boys. Teamwork. All right. Robin Lopez on the Cavs. Holy it's both. Shit. Oh, fuck. I need both. Okay. 11, 11 41. for Brooke Lopez. Yep. 41. 42. Oh. oh. I thought you were like right there. I thought, were, I thought I had it. 31? Nope. Oh. 11. All right, we got Brooks. You remember Robin Lopez? Big Cavs guy. Come on. Nope. Don't. You Homer Simpson now? <laughs> I, said, I said nope. Uh, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I just see him looking like Anderson Verjot. I want to say 17. So bad. No, damn well, that's not him. I thought for sure it was 41. <laughs> nah, I got nothing for this one. There. Come on, bro. I got Brooke Lopez's. We're mad. We got 11. I don't know about anything else. Robin was 33. No way. <clears throat> yep. 33 on the Cavs. Just don't think I watched one game with him playing. No, I one. don't think any time I watched he was in. Dang. I wanted to do Robin Lopez on the Bulls as the tiebreaker, but Matt would probably have gotten that. I don't think he would have. I don't know if I remember that. I don't think he would have. I'm going to be Maybe honest. Maybe if I seen He's it. He's such an irrelevant Because he wore two different numbers there, 8 and 42. So 42. That's that probably that's why I was, I was harping on 41. But for on the Cavs, he wore... Only 33. That's nice. it. So Matt wins 4 2 to 0. That's two games in a row. You won the last one too, huh? Hell yeah. Matt knows ball, everybody. Did you post any of the football ones yet? Nope. Dog, he was <laughs> in his in. deathbed. <laughs> yeah, I was not. I was not working on he really. Was not okay. I'm yeah, I was to not working on anything. Even today, like he was going on that <clears> rant <throat> earlier. Wait till you rewatch it. You were breathing heavy as fuck. Was I? Yeah. He was. He was scared because. Can I ask you a question? You just couldn't catch you couldn't catch your breath while you were going. Wait till basketball tomorrow. You're gonna be dead. At, I ain't playing. Yes, at, the fuck you are. At <laughs> this point of our podcasting show, I'm leaning because I'm you, disappointed in my performance. But going, yeah, you dropped a goose egg, <laughs> bum. Do you think you're invited to the barbecue? I should be because I'm a real one. A real what? A real racist a real one. What, Derek? I spit facts, bro. <laughs> hey, all like I wouldn't do trying to climb your haircut. Hey. <laughs> I'm his barber, bro, and I'm nice. Don't hey, someone said my haircut was racist. Dante cut my hair. I don't, make what you out of it. Make what Don, you want out of it. But Dante Somebody said your hair was racist. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's got a great point. Matt, say that one more time. Dante can only do what you ask for. That's true. If it was up to me, you wouldn't have that haircut. All right. Cut my hair however you want it next time. Don't don't say that. I don't think you want that. Why? Because it's not going to be what you have. What, big, you, big what, bald what guy do you here. want? Big, big, big. I ain't go. I got a fucking scar on the top of my head. We ain't going bald, Where'd brother. Where'd you get a scar from? Someone bit my head open. Hooping. 
Hooping. Got to the hoop, jump stop, pivot. Mm. Yes, it's basically kind of. <laughs> you have to tell tell that story real quick before we leave. No, nah, 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 we got minute. one minute. Yeah, that's going to be one minute. We can keep going. I got time. I blocked off till 12, so you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just come over there and run the boards. Basically, is it on me? Of course it's on you. Okay. I'm so sweaty. Basi- me too. I'm fucking hot. Basically, anyways, palms. Are hooping sweaty. outside. I think we're playing 3v3, whatever. You say pooping or hooping? Hooping. Okay. Sometimes you have to poop outside. Matt did it. Yeah. But golf course. If you um, haven't done it, you're lying. If you ain't done it, you ain't a real one. I've done it. Not mm-hmm. a golf course, though. Anyways, hooping outside. Mm-hmm. Basically, there was no passing, so it was just check and go. And uh, I blew past the guy, mm-hmm. and he's trailing me. Mm-hmm. And I basically do like what Steph tried to do on LeBron in the finals where he like stopped and like tried to get LeBron to like go past him. You ain't Steph. I tried. So I tried to do that pump fake. This dude jumps up behind me, like not past me, just right up behind me. I kind of back up a little bit and go up. And as I'm going up, my head's tilted like this straight up. And this dude, as he's coming down, his teeth just fucking scalp my head. You bit your head. That's crazy. And can you upload the picture? I can. I don't think YouTube will allow that. Oh, because it's blurry. Yeah, I'll check, yeah. but it's gory. Just it's like pretty gory. The color of the blood that like blue. I might make it look insane. <laughs> sure. All right, everybody. Pink. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop Breakroom. Peace. Break